More than two months since Tucson police officer Adam Buckner was killed in the line of duty in a car crash. The man accused of crashing into Buckner's car had a pretrial conference today. And 13 News reporter Katherine Patterson joins us live outside of Tucson City Court where she listened to his pretrial conference today. Katherine, what is the status of his case now? Yeah, Dan Brooke, the judge is just waiting for a trial date to be set, but the prosecution and defense need to come to a solution on a disagreement that they're having in order to make that happen. Fallen officer Adam Buckner's wife and mother were at Tucson City Court today to listen to prosecution discuss what's next for the case of 20 year old Nicholas Skitsky. The man accused of failing to yield left at an intersection and crashing into Buckner and killing him on March 31st of this year. Many people came to support them both, including TPD Chief Chad Kazmar, but Skitsky was not present. He's facing a misdemeanor charge for causing serious physical injury or death by a moving violation and civil infractions for failure to yield while turning left at an intersection and failure to yield to an authorized emergency vehicle. Moving forward, prosecution says they want a bench trial. That's held before only a judge, while the attorney defending Skitsky says she wants a jury trial. Both sides said a trial could take weeks long with three dozen body cam videos and a number of witnesses. The judge said that timeline could wreak havoc on a lot of other cases because most Tucson City Court trials on average last around one to two days. The judge recommended a possible pro temp or volunteer judge to take her place during that timeline if needed. Now, I did ask Buckner's wife and mother if they'd like to comment, and they said they would not like to comment for this story. A motion deadline has been set for July 3rd at 2.30 for a final decision on the disagreement. Reporting live in downtown Tucson, Catherine Patterson, 13 News.